Welcome back, this is Dr. Jin Sung, where clinical excellence meets excellent results. Today we're gonna to talk about walnuts and the impact it has on cholesterol. So let's get right into it. So there was a study called WAHA, or W-A-H-A study. It was published in this Journal of Circulation, and it was looking at walnuts and healthy aging. So there were 600 participants from California and Spain ages 63 to 79. So one group didn't have any walnuts and another group had 15% of their daily caloric intake uh, from walnuts, which is equivalent to about 30 to 60 grams of walnuts per day. Now, it's, it's nutrient dense, so it's got things like copper, folic acid, phosphorus, B6, manganese, and vitamin E, right? And the nutritional content breaks down like this. 185 calories per one ounce. It's got water, obviously, protein, carbs, fiber, and it's got 18.5 grams of fat. Fat in the form, it, form of ALA, an omega-3, and linoleic acid, which is a omega-6. So it's got good fats, okay? Now, if we look at it, it also has some antioxidant properties. It's got ileic acid, it's an antioxidant, catechins, flavonoids, and antioxidant. It actually has melatonin. Phytic acid is an antioxidant. However, if you eat a lot of phytic acid uh, in a big meal, it may inhibit the absorption of iron and zinc. So uh, maybe you want to take it away from supplementation with zinc and iron. But if you have phytic acid, it is also an antioxidant, right? So in the study, what did it do? It decreased total cholesterol, 4.4%. It decreased LDL cholesterol, 3.6%. Decreased intermediary dense, intermediate density proteins, 16.8%. LDL particles total decreased by 4.3. And then the small LDL particles by 6.1, right? So it actually lowers some of the bad cholesterol, quote unquote, bad cholesterol uh, in the participants. Now there are other benefits like anti-inflammatory because uh, one, it has a lot of uh, flavonoids in there uh, or antioxidants, so it decreases inflammation. It decreases plaquing in the arteries and it improves brain function because you've got anti-inflammatory effects, antioxidant effects, as well as the fat uh, the fact that you're getting good fats in your diet. So you can use walnuts in a ketogenic diet, uh, so it helps out a little bit when you want to snack on certain things. So it's important to do that. So the benefits of walnuts uh, are pretty broad, so if you want to go and grab a handful of walnuts per day, that might be beneficial. Now, if you have problems with lectins, which is found in nuts and seeds, uh, this might not be the right route for you. Um, but you need to find out if you have issues with lectin consumption. All right, my name is Dr. Jin Sung, where clinical excellence meets excellent results, and we'll see you guys next week on the healthy side. Have an awesome day.